hello everyone i hope you're having a good day okay uh, so basically you know, you might be wondering what i am doing why am i playing this or maybe some people are wondering how am i playing this so i was simply playing a music which was based on c major scale oh my god what a scale okay so in this lecture i'll be explaining you what is what is a scale for the new viewers i would like to introduce myself my name is jitin ibrahim i i've been posting these tutorials from this new year itself if you guys can manage to watch the previous tutorials and then watch this particular tutorial it will really help you to learn guitar very fast in my tutorial series i always make sure that i give you proper explanation of all the theory which is behind the music and also the practical application as well okay let's proceed now uh, in this tutorial i am going to explain you about a scale basically what is a scale i shall say uh, in my previous tutorial i had explained you what all notes we have i have explained you that we have notes available from a to g seven letters we are going to use using this these seven letters we are having 12 different notes okay a sharp b c c sharp and so on okay uh, using these 12 notes we can play any music the whole music depends on these 12 notes now the thing is which notes to be used when it's uh, it doesn't mean that all the 12 notes are always important you might have heard about you know uh, sa re ga ma pa ga ni sa sequence okay so over there sa is one note re is another note ga is another note so which is which note that totally depends uh, on which scale you are playing there are so many different different types of scale so beginning with the scale okay so first of all i would like to explain what is a scale scale is nothing but uh, you consider it as a pitch the pitch in which you are going to sing that is called as scale and the first and basic scale where uh, there are least complications that scale is c major scale yes we have different types of scale one is major scale the other one is minor scale then pentatonic scales and so on we have sharp scales flat scales different different types of scales we will be learning all the scales one by one So today we are starting with the first scale that is C major scale which is not having any sharp note neither they have any flat note that means all are natural notes there are seven alphabets all those seven alphabets we are going to use without any sharps or flats let me introduce you to the C major scale So guys this is your C major scale we are using all seven alphabets without any sharp or any flat notes so that's why C major scale is also called as zero sharp scale or zero flat scale or maybe we can also call it as natural scale now uh, any scale if i say the scale is C major scale which means it starts from C and ends at C as you can see over here so these are the eight notes C D E F G A B C okay C major is the only scale which does not have any sharp scale as i've already told you so these are the seven notes plus one extra last note which is repeated again as first uh, that will to total it gives you eight notes eight notes stands for eight stands for octa therefore a group of eight notes will uh, will be called as octave okay now uh, why is this dot over here this dot indicates that this the first c is a lower note c that is low frequency c and the last c will be a higher note c that is high frequency c so this will help you to understand which is which c now let us try to implement this c major scale in our guitar now you are pretty aware that what the c major scale how many notes do we have in c major scale and c major scale starts from c and ends at c it's c d e f g then a b c okay these are the notes of c major scale now i'll teach you how to practically uh, play c major scale on your fretboard or maybe on your guitar if you remember i have given you an idea of what all are these notes okay the topmost string is e bottommost string is e all the open notes i have given and how to proceed with each and every fret that also i have given you from that fret chart itself you can figure out that c note will be at this particular position that is fifth string it's like 1 2 3 4 5 this is fifth string in fifth string you hold third fret while holding you remember that you pref 
prefer you always make sure that you prefer to hold third fret with your third finger itself first fret with your first finger second fret with your second finger third fret with your third finger and fourth fret with your fourth finger okay so third fret you hold with your third finger while holding i i've already told you where to hold hold on the later half okay so hold this fifth string third fret i call it as 5 by 3 okay hold 5 by 3 and pluck 5 by 3 like this this is your c note then d d is nothing but fourth string open open fourth string so leave all your fingers just hold the fretboard pluck fourth string this is your d then fourth string second fret gives you note e fourth string third fret gives you note f then third string open gives you note g third string second fret gives you note a second string open gives you note b second string first fret gives you note c so i'll play c major scale in a sequence like this c b d f g a b c then come back again c so practice this note you always make sure that you need to memorize where is which note okay the more you memorize the notes it is better for you to play any songs it becomes more comfortable actually so uh, it's not a compulsory factor but yes if you wish to play guitar more comfortably it is better to memorize those notes okay so first of all you practice you practice this uh, rigorously okay at least 30 to 40 times you need to practice like this one two three four five six seven eight This is C major scale. I hope you understood. Now, along with uh, giving you C major scale, I'll give you one more exercise to practice with C major scale. I call this exercise as triangle. Okay, so I'll explain how it works. First, you play C note. Then, what do you do? Go from C to D, then come back to C. Okay, so first you played C. Then you went from C to D, then again coming back to C. Then what do you do? Again you play C, C, D, E. Go from C to E, then again come back to C. So like first you play C, then you play C, D, then again come back to C. Then go till E, C, D, E, then again come back D, C. Then again go C, D, E, F, then again come back. D like that so the basic ideology is you start from C then you go till D and come back to C then you go till E and come back to C then you go till F and come back to C then you go till G and come back to C then you go till A and come back to C then again go, go till B and come back to C then go till C and come back to C I'll play the whole exercise for you okay so first I'm playing C then I'll go till D and come back like this then I'll go till E and come back like this then I'll go till F and come back then I'll go till G and come back then I'll go till A and come back then I'll go till B and come back Then I'll go till C and come back. I call this as triangle. Now while performing triangle, I've already taught you that every exercise you do, you always make sure that you do it reverse order as well. Okay. So try to do this in reverse order as well. That means you start from the bottom of C. Okay. First you play C. Then after C, come to B and then again go to C. Like C, B, C. Then again, thoda piche aao. Okay, it's like C, B, A, B, C. Then again, you come back. Come back one more note behind. C, B, A, G, A, B, C. Till G of come. Okay. Now come one more note behind. Till come till F. Okay, and then go back again. One.
Then now you come to E. Then you come to D. Then you come to C. I'll play the whole exercise for you guys again. That is from top to bottom and then bottom to top. Now from top to bottom. Okay, for C, then till D, E, F, This is top to bottom triangle. Now bottom to top triangle, I'll repeat it for you guys once again. The whole set, like this. So this is the whole set of triangle okay uh, I would request you guys to please practice this set okay first you practice how to identify notes first you practice plain scale okay uh, while playing make sure that you say those notes like this C D E F G A B C if possible say it along with the tune okay if you can sing along with it it's the best option if you cannot sing it's not a big deal but at least try to sing if it is possible like this C D E F G A B C like that. So if you sing along with them automatically, such kind of practices will help you to improve your ears. Okay, ears, understanding music, listening to music, identifying music. All these things are pretty important. If you uh, do these basic exercises from starting itself, it will help you to really catch on with the music very quickly. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you all liked this video. If you liked this video, I would request you to please like this video, share this video amongst your friends so that they can also learn guitar completely just sitting at your home. And definitely do not forget to subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks a lot.